Hey, I want to have fun looking at a particular equation that I want to solve. Check it out. It's x plus z all divided by 5 equals y. And I want to solve this for z. But here's the catch. The catch is these aren't numbers. What could they be? They're actually matrices. So in fact, the y in this case is equal to this 2 by 2 matrix. And the x in this example is actually equal to this 2 by 2 matrix. So in fact, the z answer that we seek is really a 2 by 2 matrix. Surprise! All right. So what do we do here? Well, the answer is absolutely nothing. Don't worry about it. It's all good. What we're going to do is we're going to solve this as we would solve any algebraic equation of this form for z. And then at the very, very end, we'll insert this particular value for y and this particular value for x. And those values, of course, really are matrices. But no worries. So check it out. How would you solve this equation for z? First thing I would do is multiply both sides by 5. OK, terrific. And then to solve for z, I want to get z alone. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And so I see that z equals 5y minus x. Well, great. Now I want to substitute what we actually know about y and x. However, they're not numbers. They're actually matrices. So what I want to do is I want to say, OK, so z equals. 5y, which is that right there, minus x, which is this right here. So now it becomes a question involving matrices, which is kind of cool. So what does it mean to multiply a matrix by a constant 5? It means that every single entry gets multiplied by 5. And then I'm going to subtract the corresponding entries uh, from this. So what we see here is that z equals, and in fact, I have to use a special color pen. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 5 times 0 is 0. And 5 times 1 is 5. So here I see a 20. 20 minus 2 is 18. So the 1, 1 entry of z is 18. Then here I see a negative 10 minus 0 is just negative 10. Here I see a 5 times 0, which is 0, minus a negative 1. You have to be careful now. That negative has to distribute everywhere. So minus a negative 1 is actually plus 1. So I just get 0 plus 1, which is 1. And finally, 5 times 1, which is 5, minus negative 3, that's plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. And so we see that the solution to this equation of matrices is actually a matrix itself, namely z, which equals the matrix uh, 18, and then in this place, negative 10, in this place, 1, and in this place, 8. And you put that together, and that is the solution. So you can actually look at equations that actually are formed where the unknowns are actually matrices. So you could actually have one unknown be a, a, a brick, if you will, an array of information, tons of information, tons of numbers all at once. And you can actually combine them just using the same algebraic principles as we've seen before with any unknown. And at the end of the day, when we insert what these matrices are, we actually can come out with a matrix answer. Really cool to see equations that actually involve matrices. I'll see you soon.